Down comes Paparo. Strong over the top. The first boundary of the match goes the way of Chloe Paparo. Good use of the feet again from Mooney. He's getting underway here. So often see Beth Mooney access this part of the ground and nearly always as a result of backing away to leg, giving herself some room. In this case, she also created link. Shuffled outside the crease and then... Worked away by Beth Mooney. There's four more. It's just bad news for the tournament. Mooney comes down the wicket again, this time to Gardner. She looks on tonight here at the Wacker. Mooney helps herself to a short one on a pads from Tryon. Crunched by Paparo. Really good power. That this power one. game. Well, this goes straight up. It's going to be a tough catch. It's swirling around. That is a brilliant take from Lauren Cheadle down at deep fine leg. Prime scoring area for her. Mooney spoons it over the offside and it is going to run away. Lifts it over mid wicket and out. Beth Mooney has hit it straight down the throat. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the Gabba last year. Maddie Dark sweeping behind square, wonderfully timed. And that is a bit fuller, and it's top edged by Dark Nostradamus. He was just always an influence in the game. Oh, there's a good way to get off the mark from Lisa Griffith. Bit of an inside edge. They all count, though. <laughs> <laughs> there's a top edge from Griffith. It's hanging high. Oh, that's another wonderful catch. Reverse. Amy Jones, we know she's an expert at that shot. Power surge as well. Devine sees the length, saw it was short, crunched it into the gap. Jones has hit that one out of the middle. Pulling. And pulling well again, Amy Jones. Back-to-back -back boundaries from the... Long on. Devine doesn't care. She's going a little square up, and she's picked out the boundary. Reversing is Jones. Accessing the boundary once again with a lovely shot. Now, that's what the Scorchers want to see. Sophie Devine crunches it. Near the boundary. Back on strike, backing away. Oh, and she's picked out Maitland Brown. It's hard to know with someone like Sophie Devine. Oh, and Edgar straight up first ball. Pelly calls it. It's a golden duck for Amy Edgar. King. The two Aussie teammates. Wesh Garner as well has now picked up three wickets, so she's gone to the top of the chain. Double figures. There's a full toss for King. Helps herself to four. He sense will be a good chase, and Alana King with a maximum. Well, she capitalised on the full toss. Alana King, Lily Mills, man, really good for the Scorchers. So too Amy Jones here today. King waited for it and slaps it away through the offside. That's gone high from Lily Mills. Has it gone long enough? Doesn't look like it. There's another one. King steps across, looking to access backward a square leg, and she's done right. that. She's doing her job. King whips it. Out to deep mid-wicket. King throws the kitchen sink at it. And... Oh! Burns has kept it from going for six, it looks. <laughs> She's ridiculous, Aaron Burns. 
What an outstanding piece of fielding. It's exciting to see her in the WBBL. And she's starting here to Perry after the big build up and Perry's just whipped it off her pads for four. That she's gleaned over many years as Perry again. Just feasting on some... Using the feet, Perry. Third boundary for her. She is in some wonderful form. Bates pushes it. The full toss down the ground for four. Maybe that'll just get her going. A nice one from a New Zealand. Tanil Pesha, one of the weapons in her game is a really high quality Yorker. She targets those stumps. Wonderful hands from Elise Perry. Great timing. Jam down on that. Perry on strike. Gets the full toss and glides it away for three consecutive fours. Down she comes again. Straight up in the air. The frustration continues for Susie Bates and it's Amy Edgar. <laughs> oh, there's a stumping. Ash Gardner cannot believe it. First ball and Alana King, she did the damage with the bat. Now she's done likewise with the ball. Timed and placed nicely by Elise Perry. Last ball before drinks. It is short and wide. Perry throws the hands at it. Picks up four. The drink. Edgar's got another one. This time right through Burns. Seven for the season. And the Sixers slipping out of this contest. And Perry takes a liking to it. First ball looks to go over long on. And King has put it down again. She dropped two on Sunday. She's wondering what is going on. Perry. Trying to take on Mills and now try on. Wax a four behind square. How often does it happen for a bowler? Perry carves it away. Backward of point. You can see the Mills plan here, trying to bowl into the surface. Tough to rein that one in. Tryon's beaten short mid-wicket. It's King again in the hot spot, and it's four. Tryon lifts this one into the leg side. Ainsworth charging. Ainsworth doesn't get there. Tryon looking for three straight, but no. He's here looking for a second 50. It's wide, Perry gets it through. A second half century for Elise Perry in edition nine of the WBBL. So can she go on with it now? Stands and edges. Carmichael works that behind point. Oh, we'll rock and roll it. Next ball, though, Perry deposits it behind square for four. Perry looking for a maximum. Can't find it. Picks out the Scorchers captain. And maybe with that wicket go the hopes of the Sydney Sixers. Well, the kids can learn a lot off you. <laughs> <laughs> this has gone straight up from Carmichael. Is it Edgar's fourth? Best bowling figures. In her if everyone's beating everyone, there's another one. Ainsworth. Smith is out. So the captain has another one. Edgar is having a wonderful night with the ball in the field. Sixers lose nine now. And the Scorchers are almost there. And you think of King's contribution. Could be a massive difference here in the end. That quick fire 30 at the back end going to be about that kind of margin so it is a happy halloween for the perth scorches